I mean, come on. This has to be Tarzan's favorite Airbnb. It has a wild slide, a trampoline, and an infinity pool overlooking the dense jungle. This slice of heaven is located in the quiet beach town of Uvida, right between the best national parks in Costa Rica. Not only that, Uvida is home to breathtaking waterfalls and even has a beach that forms a whale tail at low tide. What makes this beach even more mind-blowing is that humpback whales migrate to this exact spot year-round. Hey guys, welcome back to the other side and the coolest Airbnb we may have ever seen. In our last video, you saw us surfing in Playa Grande, Costa Rica. We have made our way down to Uvita on a little road trip, and this is our first spot. These are really cool, eco-friendly pods in the middle of the jungle, and I know we usually do long-form videos giving you guys a ton of information about an area, but we thought it'd be really fun to just show you this insane Airbnb. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. There are three parts to this property. You got the luxury villa up top, which is $1,500 a night. You have the semi-luxury villa right here, which is $600 a night. And then you have these eco pods, which are about $150 to $200 a night. There's four pods where you could stay in. So there's not that many people here. And it sometimes feels like we're the only ones here. We're in the middle of the jungle, the noises, birds everywhere, different animals. And this is definitely a unique experience. Ian's gonna go jump in. Yeah, after I get my two cups of coffee in the morning i'm super energetic and i jump on the trampoline to start the day why wouldn't you let's see him he likes to show off his backflips this is the view from our room how sick watching my uh fiance jump on a trampoline in the jungle casual day that's a workout in and of itself i love a good trampoline should we do like a little room tour let's show the room okay this is a bed and at night there's a bug net that we get to put down, although I still had a bug crawl on me last night, which is fine because here in Costa Rica, whether you're in a glamping situation or a hotel, you're still probably going to have bugs. Quick side note, because there's so many bugs and animals here, it's one of the most biodiverse places on planet Earth, and it has over 500,000 different types of species. 900 of those are birds, and they're always flying around here, which is super cool. Let's get back to Anna. So this is actually one of my favorite parts of the room. It's this kind of hidden closet Narnia area. I think this is so smart because I hate being in a hotel or an Airbnb and having my crap everywhere. This is just kind of like out of sight, out of mind. We also have a mini fridge and a safe back here. I think this is a concept that many hotels should mimic. Let's show you the bathroom. Now, listen up, there's no bathroom door. So if you're in a new relationship, just keep in mind, you might hear some deuces dropping. So, <laughs> Be careful when you tell your partner, hey, head outside right now. It is romantic for the shower situation, but luckily Ian and I have been together for seven years, so we're fine. Yeah, it's a very basic accommodation, but that's what you want in a jungle paradise like this. You can open up all the sides and at night for privacy, you put down the shades. And also we forgot to mention, there's a fan right above your bed at night and it's super nice because it's covered by this fabric the bug net and it creates a wind tunnel. I'm in bed right now and this is the full view. Anna's gonna put down a shade so you see what we can do during the day to get some privacy. But like waking up to this every morning is just absolutely <laughs> incredible. If you guys could hear the noise, if you wanna stay here, just realize that you're close to your other neighbors so you could hear people coughing at night. It's not as silent uh, or private as you would think because the pods are kind of close to each other. But we aren't really having a problem with that. We slept like babies last night. It's more of a, like a two night, three night thing. I don't know if I'd book my whole vacation here, but it's definitely a great stop along the way. Last night we learned that Costa Rica is the number one export of pineapple. So I'm really disappointed we weren't eating pineapple this whole time. We just ate one last night. It was amazing. And luckily we got some for breakfast too. They're just really sweet and perfect. We're still here for about like 14 days and I'm really considering buying a machete to open up the pineapples on the street. This is Fernando. He is the concierge here. What's your favorite thing you've ever done in Costa Rica? Sir, sir, that's what I love. Going down this bad boy for the first time today, but I'm gonna get wet first. Let's see how this goes. I saw some people going down yesterday and they screamed really loud, so. Thank gosh Costa Rica has a lot of water because yes, all day it's super humid here because it is the rainforest and you just want to be in the water as much as possible. So we're in the top 
Watville that runs about 1300 a night. It is very cool, sleeps 10 people. This would be such a great place to have a bachelor or bachelorette party. I like the whole open layout. You got couches right here and it goes from the parking lot all the way through to this infinity pool. And then you got the whole jungle out here. This would be so much fun with all your best friends. Like the kitchen, everything's so unique in here. We gotta get out of here because someone who booked is coming. They're actually coming for 15 days. I ran them about like 20 grand, but if it's split between 10 people, it's really not as bad as you think. We are going to get some classic Costa Rican food out of soda. The hill to this Airbnb is freaking insane. No, it's actually wild. It's so steep. To come to this Airbnb, you have to have a 4x4. So you, you can't get up the mountain without a 4x4. It is vertical. There have been like reviews where people get stuck with regular cars. regular cars. So definitely keep that in mind. That's why we had to spend the extra money to get a 4x4 because we're going to places like this in Costa Rica. All around the country, there's spots that are off-road. If you're looking for cheaper food in Costa Rica, I recommend heading up any local soda and getting the Casado. It's a big plate of food for only $5. On here, you got some rice, beans, plantains, spaghetti, a potato salad, and then we get a side of queso, of course, because we love our cheese. I wanted to show you the money, the currency that Costa Rica has. It's called colones. On the bills, there are sharks, there's deer, and then there's even sloths. I think it's definitely the coolest currency we've seen so far out of any country visited in the world. Definitely something you should keep as a souvenir. So a walk down here into the valley right below the pods is called the wing and this is where people do yoga classes, massages, and you could even have a romantic dinner down here they set up. I am so sweaty. I hate vlogging when I'm sweaty. God bless you, Dean. That's disgusting. <laughs> it was definitely very peaceful. I kind of wish I did this yesterday. I mean, there's like the most amazing sounds and I have a little music going. Very peaceful. Working out with no air con. It's so sticky. Yeah, it's super I sticky. Think of Florida, maybe times two. You almost don't have to do anything to sweat. And this is the spot where we end our night. I think we're gonna get some wine or beer. And it's just an infinity pool that looks over the jungle. And over to your left, you got that cool tub. And then right through here is the sunset. That's the ocean right there. And it's just, it was just magical last night when we saw it. I don't know if I did the slide wrong, but my back is all bruised. It's all bruised. And her butt is, but I'm not gonna show you that. You can show it, just don't show it like a butt. So if you come here and do the slide, be ready. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Come on. Hey, oh, you're so excited. This is the owner's dog. So cute. Hey, did he? Look at these big bones that Ariba has. These things are massive. Fernando found them in the river. This is Impossible Tuna. That's what he named it. It's watermelon, vegan tuna. Very yeah. cool. He bakes it for what, three hours? Wow. Oh my gosh, it looks delicious. Brendan down there really knows how to cook. The flavors, he's been cooking for 10 years. He's gonna be probably the head chef here. Usually Costa Rican food is a little bit more mild, but he has a punch of flavors. Every food we've had from him, whether that's guacamole and salsa or salads, everything is just on point. Brendan bringing another plate down. This is the veggie tuna, which is the watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it looks like after I cut it off. It almost gives like like a meaty look. Yeah, it looks this like tuna. Watermelon, guys. Sitting at the edge of the jungle right now with my gallo pinto. What else could you want? Brendan brought over a cicada. How, how do you call it in Spanish? Chicharra. Chicharra. That's a shell and that's a live one. Anna, what are you doing? I'm downloading episodes because um, surprisingly, we're in the middle of the jungle, but this place has amazing Wi-Fi, good enough to download some episodes. So I always do this to make sure that I have enough shows to watch at night or while I'm editing. Sadly, we are leaving this paradise today. Guys, there's so much to do around this area. There's waterfalls and blue lagoons and even that famous whale tail beach here. We don't really want to leave, but we have to. Like always, you know. This is just a travel is, you just have to leave. And now we're gonna go pack up the car and head down south. We're heading towards Corcovado National Park. That is in our woo-woo book. We're really excited to get down there and explore the jungle for three straight days. Uh, if you missed any of our Costa Rica videos, you can click this playlist right up here and we'll see you in the next one.